Hello and welcome back. My name is Mentuis and welcome back to Imperator Rome. And this is a little let's play tutorial where I'm slowly learning the game. In the last episode we've done, well, kind of a lot of first quests, import fish, construction camps, I'm still building some ships and we are trying to get a claim on Sabini. Sabini is a small section to the north, got three, three cities I guess, yes it's got three cities, it's got 10,000 troops and I already got my 32,000 troops on their border in between episodes I did pick this guy Publius Saponius Sopus he is a consul of Rome and he was kind of loyal and I know that well you should put loyal people on your army so I guess we're going to unpause again and we are going to wait until we get the uh, claim because well, I I cannot go in there yet. I cannot. I can declare war, but. Kind of funny how a lot of people approve. But. I'm not quite sure. I did something wrong, I guess. I'm going to fabricate. Oh, 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 pause the game. Pause the game. Probably Sabonius Sopus has sent a word that he has fallen ill. Oh my god. Is that the. Oh, that's the current ruler. Perhaps if he is wealthy enough, he will seek treatment on his own. Alright. So. Turtle pops in the last episode. I thought I but took a claim on one of these provinces. So this is the city of Pictinium. And this is also oh, this is called Trebula and this is called Internamia and Eritrea. Eritrea. So I guess we are going to put a claim on one of these cities. It looks like this one. Well, normally I'm kind of like U4 if it's got a fort. This does look like it has a fort. I know terrain plays a role in this game. But I guess we are going to fabricate a claim. And it's kind of logical because I, I didn't lose any points. Uh, Alright, so we instantly get. I kind of want to get the other one as well. So I can only. We... Alright, well, I guess we are going to declare war. Decla oh, we can. 14 of July. That's going to take us some time. So let's speed up until the 14th of July. Because I want to start more. I kind of want to fabricate another claim on the other one because, well, I know Paradox Games that they have something called like War Exhaustion and well, coalitions and the more cost balance you have the better it is especially if you're going to war so now we got two cost bellies we do need to wait a little bit longer if i am wrong put it in the comment down below because i really would like to know if something is different than i'm thinking it so we have to wait until the 13th of august So I guess we're going to do... Alright, so I can only take one. Hmm. Alright, bad luck. Uh, cancel now, I'm going to go for the other one. Alright, 
So we are going to cross and I kind of hope that because of his army is this little bar, the moral is kind of low. So I'm immediately going for attack because I'm easy when retreating. That's kind of funny. Pause the game. Did we already won? I kind of wanted to see. My console, the Battle of Trivia during the struggle 107. Oh my god. We killed 5,000? That should be a major blow. I kind of want to go to those guys as well. I'm going to split you up. Because, well. That way I don't have that much attrition. What was this? I, I kind of want to slow because time looks like it's going a bit too fast. I'm killing way too fast and I want to see what is happening. In the midst mites of our... No, man, I do need to read. In the midst of us follow season, Marcus Flotius Plantius, one of our most esteemed governors held a vast and lavish party in his summer palace at Cassim. Alright, even his most loyal burdens were shocked by the display of contempt for the pledge of the common man and have written directly to us demanding to... Alright. Why, who are you? You're, you're the Marcus. I need to get these families straight because I know families are important, but I have no idea how to figure that out. He is wealthy, am I? Oh, I'm more wealthier than he is. I'm jealous wise, loving, I'm having a health, I'm healthy, he's not that healthy. He's of this, he's of the same religion, that's a good thing. Demand a payment to the city. He can't afford that. Demand his resignation. Ooh, that's interesting. I kind of wonder, does these troops belong to him? No. Or am I totally going to screw myself here? I'm going to demand his resignation. Alright, so... Yes, we are going to speed it up a little bit, but sometimes the battle goes that fast that, well, you don't even see them. Too few men, that's kind of funny. And still losing just because of the under siege all right we're doing pretty f it's pretty good we're doing pretty fast I wonder who you are I have no idea who you are are you in my allies? Are you my enemies? I get your allies, alright. I guess they all need to walk to the water to go this way.
So we've took that land now. Once they are in my area, we are going to attack these to the last remnants of the Sumerian. But I do need to unpause. I keep forgetting that. Kind of funny how they. Keep walking that way. I find it kind of hard to see who's the enemy because this looks like it's been taken by the enemy. But my big army, I want to select this one. This time, I want to slow it a little bit. Can I see how when they arrive? No, I cannot. Because I kind of want to see the fight. Slow it down one more. I really like to know stuff like that. How I can see how far they... Alright, now we can see at least a little bit of a battle. We are breaking their flanks. We're totally crushing them. My console, the Battle of Conferring. We lost over 907 men. Damn, they did pretty damn well. We're going to follow those guys. And we're going to speed it up a little bit because it's only 2,000 men. In the middle battle. We slaughtered all their troops. I kind of want to get you guys back. We got some disloyal characters. I have no idea what that is going to do to us. Conquer. All right. So yeah. Uh, to declare, open diplomatic and select. I guess we can already take province. Uh, Suit for peace. I want this land, this land. List of demand. I could take everything I think want. They're like a suggested. So it would just let let's wait until we've taken this can we see how it is going here. Attrition is a little bit maximum of five per location. Right. But our dice roll isn't that good. We got a fortification that's a minus one, but we also got a commander that's good. We got a siege equipment and we rolled an eight. That's good. That's pretty good. You are not in overall command. No, I'm not. Why am I not in command? That guy better than I am? I guess I, he is. Alright, so we won the seat. That makes us 100%. So for peace, what do you suggest? So we are taking everything we suggest that, so we're going to do that. Alright, pieces offered will increase rank regional, are you sure? Yes. Alright! The Sabinian elite, after a, pro a protected conquest, we have finally routed the Sabinian army and led waste to their land during the sacking of their capital, many important prisoners were taken. Many of them have previously held important positions in the Sabinian clan council. Alright, they now live language in our dungeons, awaiting whatever fate we decide to impose on them. Alright, so we can, our enemy deserve no quarter, we can... Uh, Every character in it will be put to death before a cheering crowd. Give some popularity. Current is 100. 
important characters will be banished to foreign land instead of executed. We lose some aggressive expansion. I wonder how much we got. Can we see that somewhere? National overview. Uh, do we got any aggressive expansion? I have no idea where to look. I guess we do not have any government. No, I have no idea. If you know where to for me to look, I would really like to know. Technology doesn't seem logical. Diplomacy that does look like a location, but it doesn't show monthly aggressive. Expansion is minus 0 0.9, so we can handle that. Important Sabinian character will be imprisoned in Rome. And why would I do that? It's giving me minus 3 popularity. And I see no reason to do that. If you know another way, a reason why I should do that, uh, well, tell me. Prepare judgment on important. You will be able to decide what to do with each part of that. Oh, why? Hmm. Well. Alright, so these are kind of their, their family. The great families are Sabini. Several important families are known to have held Sway and Sabini while we have consigned the lesser men and women of the fallen nation to their fate. We must decide carefully upon what to do with the elite. Why would we do that? Why would we welcome them into Rome? I'm not, not quite sure. If you know why we should do that, uh, put it in the comment down below because I really would like to know. The Nemius family moved to Rome. Hmm. Give her a refugee. Consists of three families. Embrace the Turin family. I wonder why would we do that? Popular, he's not popular. This guy is. But they don't have any money at all. Well, I guess we're having, going to have to crucify them. Alright, so the Latin local power of Sabinian, they accept it, they are going to die. We have increased in the rank and are now a regional power country instead of a local power. Since we are now an independent country with at least 25 cities, the following special rules can be used to guarantee other countries can threat war and can have allies. And the following effect, capitals import roads plus one, uh, diplomatic relationship plus three and diplomatic range plus 50% government bonus multiplier is also 100% extra all right I guess we got another green thingy yes we do all right I guess my armies will reside there uh, I wonder is there a map mode for attrition it should be Barbarian Horde, Trade, Player Map Mode, that's not interesting. Fortification, no, that's not the one. Unrest, Diplomatic Map Mode, I always like the Diplomatic. Hmm, what's this? What does this purple thingy mean? Supply level 27. Oh, I guess it's just because those two are marching through here. Alright, what is the next mission? Purchase an invention. Alright, 
For the object you will need to open the technology window in there you will see a series of inventions on the right hand. Inventions can be purchased by a Civic Power. Each one you buy will increase the cost of the next one. Technology can be seen on the left window. Progress in this dictate by the ratio of the citizens. Alright, so... Hmm. And what were <laughs> technology? Oh, we are we are losing money a lot. I feel like we don't need those, but I'm not going to delete those yet. Technology, we can do professional sales. Learn, I guess. Property tax that uh, that would be good because I can't make more money. We still got a lot of left, so I got an invention. Finish off the Sumerians. I already thought to finish them off. Annex the highlighted cities. Ever since the first Sumerian War. Oh, that. That's a different section, is that not? Yeah, the Sumerian dose. Alright. So, I guess... We are going to move troops. And you as well. They got 9,000 troops. And we're the last army. You are the last army. I kind of want to do a swift enter. Uh, these hills will supply 16. And after that we can conquer the back city easily. I wonder how much troops they did get. Open diplomatic tab. Do we need to fabricate a claim? That's that city. I guess we do need to fabricate a claim. Oh, I guess I already did that. Military tradition. This is interesting. We haven't talked about this yet. But I'm not going to touch anything. I'm pretty curious what everything is, but I'm not going to touch it. Alright. Because I have a feeling I'm missing a lot of things. And they did say it was a proper tutorial, but I'm still having a feeling I'm missing a lot of stuff. So our army is moving. going to no we're not going to fabricate more claims all right all the armies are almost in position I kind of want to pincer their movement and I have a feeling they are already guessing what we're going to do so let's open the diplomatic tab and we are going to take Lucian there all agree alright. Who do they have an ally? Lucian, who are you? Who are you? You are allied with that one. Alright. That does make it interesting. I kinda want to have a lead on you then. You're not kind of loyal, are you? Loyalty. Loyalty did drop a bit, I guess. You. Alright, now let's declare war. Let's have fun. Buddies are going to move in. 
There's already 9,000 troops coming in. Oh, great. This is kind of annoying because I need to focus on two armies at the same time. The cities of Ferran and Capca have been engaged in war of words, each claiming to be the more righteous power and sealess right. Blah blah blah, blah and it's going to get me some freemen. I want to wait until they are locked. Where did they go? Alright, so far this is not going as I expected it would go. Where is the enemy army? Because we are getting kind of pinned in. Alright, we're now going to move in. Battle is imminent, I have to take... Okay, this is going to be pretty fun, because I pause the game now. We have... The shot, we have... The inventory, and we have a second army coming in. It's over here. Alright, so that been a big blow. We took out, well, almost, damn. So, where did their army go to? And a child born, another daughter that I would have called Rosnik, but I cannot name them. Put one army to the north. <coughs> oh, their their moral is damn. This guy is is kind of crappy. Two more ship. I kind of first want to take down their allies. I wonder where you're going. Can I see where they are going? Still need to take down their main army. That was kind of trap. And what was our war goal? Because the first Roman Sumerian War, I don't know where I can outtake Luciana. Where is. Where is Luciana? Province of Luciana. Oh, alright, so I need to take those. I kind of first want to take down their main army. My big army is leg. Let my allies do a lot of the fighting. We gain some popularity. And I guess they don't like to fight. 
that much anymore because their armies are where are they armies anyway we haven't lost that much they we have lost 12,000 but I guess if we lose 13,000 how can this number be that high all right well I'm not going to focus on that too much because I want to take those lands and kind of want to go to the last ones man approached us with a request for a room, some help to write a grand tale for him for the ages. He promised us to uh, promise us will make sure to include room into his tale so it will be beneficial for both of us. Alright, so I guess this is going to cost me money. But I guess well, we cannot do that. I wonder if I did not play the tutorial if it would still be this easy because at the moment it feels kind of easy. Alright, let's see, I got one army over here. I'm missing one army. Oh, it's over there. funny because we well, we don't have more gold yet. Ooh, 10,000 army. Publius Sempronius Sopus has sent word that he has fallen ill again. Alright, means infection. And last captured his last city. Wonder what we have to do to finish off. That wasn't fun. I guess we are going to Going to kick that army's butt because that's kind of mean. Taking me in the back. Yeah. We're kind of mean killing the troops behind the lines. Ooh, there's a big. Big Sumerian army. I'm not sure if we're going to make that on time. Oh, but still we... Oh man, that was an amazing battle. He murked up. He murked up a lot. I'm not sure if those troops are his. Alright, can we sue for peace? Suggest. Guess we have to take this deal. So we've taken a lot of land in this battle. I wonder if we're finally making some money. I guess not. 
Alright, I'm pulling my troop back. Look at Rome already. We are looking pretty big already. But it feels kind of easy, so I'm hoping the tutorial will teach me some more. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. If you got tips, tricks, anything I did wrong, anything I'm doing right, just put it in the comment down below. I love reading them. So, see you guys in next Thursday in Rome. And do as the Romans do.